Okay, now we're going to measure the amount of flow in this pipe using this circuit balancing valve, a CBV, circuit balancing valve. Okay. To do that, we need basically an electronic hydronic micromanometer. So we set the, set the machine to bypass, take our two pins, our two hoses. I always make sure I got these valves shut. They always drip a little bit. Mm -hmm. They always drip a little bit. So you open, open these, you've got it set on bypass, and then you turn it to measure, and it records the differential pressure across this circuit balancing valve. That's a one and a half inch circuit balancing valve. So this is a Turin Anderson. So we look at the Turin Anderson calibration wheel. The one and a half inch, one and a half inch circuit balancing valve. If we measure a pressure of ten feet, that would be forty-eight gallons if it's wide open. But if we didn't want 48 gallons, and say we only wanted 40 gallons, then we turn the wheel, so maybe 3.3. Maybe so we set, the, set this handle down from 4 down to 3.3, measure what the difference is, and the difference is all about 12. The difference is 12 feet now, and 12 feet at 3.3 is 40 gallons. So that's how we do. That's how simple it is to, to balance with circuit balancing valves. It's just a matter of measuring the differential pressure and knowing what the hand wheel setting is and having the proper, the proper wheel. There's nothing more to it than that. Now, some of the instruments proprietary instruments, you can set them up so knowing the type of valve, knowing the hand setting, it will tell you what the flow rate is, but that's pretty cumbersome. I prefer to just use a simple uh, measure the differential, use the wheel, set the wheel until you get the pressure on the scale and the hand setting opposite the flow rate you want in GPM. That's as simple as it is.